Hi guys, I just want to show you a quick install of the booster plug on my NC700X and the booster plug is uh, this device here what it basically does is that it uh, cheats the uh, air intake temperature sensor to show uh, the ECU a colder air temperature than it really is and that increases the uh, the fuel going into the engine which makes it run richer and uh, it should improve the uh, low rpm um, running of the engine uh, so it's especially at low rpm it should improve the the smoothness of the engine i'm just gonna run through it very uh, quickly um, basically open the bootlet you all know how to do that i assume in here you have two screws holding the service lid, open this and that gives you access to two screws holding the air filter element in here, one over here to the right and one here. Once you've taken out those screws, um, the next thing to do is to remove these panels. I've already taken out all screws to make it easier to film. One screw is here and on the inside here you have a push pin which I've removed. And basically you grab from the front, pull back a little and off it comes. Very easy. Just going to put that on the side. Next up is the screw you have here. And you have uh, one more sitting in this hole, and then here, here, and the same two goes for the other side, here, and down here. Also, um, for this one, there is um, pins on the inside on both sides. You then gently lift this up, wiggle it a bit if it's, if it's necessary. And you can see the whole lock mechanism comes up. Just leave the cables on and pull it back a bit. And it can just rest on your, on your boot. And there we have the air filter box. On the air filter box you have four more screws. And right over at the other side, you can see it down there. Then you can lift up the air filter element. Just gently wiggle it a bit and it will come. If I need to replace the air filter element, pull it all the way out, replace the air filter element. I'm not interested in that now. Since I've already done the work and just showing you uh, my install of the booster plug, there's the original um, cable attached to the air, fill, uh, sorry, air temperature sensor here. I've already attached the new one from the booster plug. It comes ready as a harness just to plug and play. So you need to pull the original off, put the new one in, and then the original goes into the booster plug harness, which I actually pushed down through this small gap here that gives you Sorry about that. Here we are. That, that gives you the opportunity to tuck it down behind the service lid. And here you actually see the original uh, harness going into the booster plug harness. And the booster plug controller is this little square thing here. And I've just zip tied everything. The booster plug comes with a Quite a long lead going to the uh, air temperature sensor for the booster plug. Just gonna pull this back again. And you can see that cable coming out here. And I've rooted it and zip tied it. And then out here in the front left, behind the fairing, this is the air temperature sensor. That's the shiny thing you can see there. And 
basically all I need to do now is put everything back together and I should have the advantages of the booster plug. I hope it works.